Okay, this is a demo here on how to publish a service from ArcGIS Desktop. In this case, we're going to be publishing to ArcGIS Online. First thing I'm going to do is make sure I am signed in to ArcGIS Online. And once I'm signed in here, we will be able to look at our ARC catalog and see our hosted services over here. And you can see I have several hosted services right now. Uh, so what we want to do today, I want to publish a layer uh, for water hydrants. Now I could publish this entire MXD with all these layers, but in this case I like to publish them one layer at a time just so I can keep track of where I'm at. So I'm actually going to save this map and I'm going to call it Hydrants Publish and that's the only thing I'm going to use this new MXD for. So what I'm going to do is move my Hydrants layer up here and I'm actually going to remove everything else in the MXD so all I have is my Hydrants. So we're going to remove all that. I'm going to save my map. Oh, So now I'm ready to publish my new layer of Hydrants. So I would typically do my edits in my other MXD and then I would strictly use this MXD only for publishing. So I'm going to go to File, Share As. I'm going to share it as a service in this case. And in this case I'm going to publish a new service because I don't have an existing one to overwrite. I'll show you that in a minute. Now we're just going to publish a service here. So in this case, my options are, I'm going to choose my ArcGIS Online account, and I'm just going to name it Hydrants, click Continue, and we're going to check our parameters here. I can't change the maximum number of records, but I will after I change this to Feature Access Only, and I'm going to uncheck Tiled Mapping. I'm going to come back to parameters and for this case I'm going to change it to 5,000 because I want to have I want to be able to have more than a thousand hydrants on this service um, so feature access and then underneath the feature access options I'm going to go ahead and check all these on so it'll allow me to create delete query and update and sync those particular uh, features within that new service I'm creating Here's where I'm needing to document it. So you want to put a summary in here, and I think it will, yeah, it says it's required. So that's part of the uh, publishing a service is we have to have the summary and the tags. And this is very helpful for your own organization of your ArcGIS Online account. And I'll just put our own name here for use, access, and use constraints. And we'll go to sharing. Now this is where I can either share it publicly or I can share it with only my organization on ArcGIS Online. Um, so in this case, uh, I'm only going to share it with the group called Demo. So you can see I've only got that particular group. This is a group within my ArcGIS Online account. I'm just going to share it with them. Uh, so now I'm ready to analyze. And what this is going to do is give me a report on any errors it finds prior to publishing and it'll give me that information. I can review those errors and then we can publish after that. So in this case I have no errors. I'm going to go ahead and publish. And this usually takes some time. We'll have to wait for it to uh, publish. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and we'll wait for the publishing to finish and we'll start up again. Okay so the process is finished. That took approximately a minute or two to publish that and I get this message that the service has public su published successfully. So I'll go ahead and click OK. Now what I want to do is say I'm going to go in my other MXD and I'm going to make some edits in Arc Desktop and I want to go ahead and republish the same service after I've made some updates um, for the benefit of those using the service. Uh, maybe they're using it in the field. So I'm going to basically go through the same process here. I'm in my correct MXD Hydrants Publish and I'm going to do a share as. I'm going to again share as a service. And I'm this time, instead of publishing a new service, I'm going to overwrite an existing service. And I'm going to find my list of services available on this next page. And again, I want to make sure my hosted services, my ArcGIS Online account is chosen there. And now we should see a layer called Hydrants, a service out there that's already published. 
In this case, I'm going to overwrite that existing service. And you'll get the warning if you overwrite the service, you'll lose access to associated features. So you'll get that, you'll click yes. It's just a warning that comes up letting us know it's going to rewrite those. And then again, we have this familiar um, dialog box here with our options and those are all remain the same. In this case, all we have to do is go ahead and hit publish again and it'll go through the same process and that's basically all there is to it. We won't wait for this to finish, but once I do that, it will have replaced my existing hydrant service and I'll be ready to continue on adding my hydrants. Thank you for watching today.